wanted to demonstrate real quick how this hinge works. I think you can kind of see the little bits of tape alternating along here. Um, this is very durable and it's very free moving. It's really the best balance of the two. So I want to show people how to make this because a lot of us are getting into like FPV and stuff and I think crashing more and so I want to show how to make this really nice free moving hinge that's really easy to cut and everything. All right, the first step in making this hinge is to make an absolutely straight cut in your foam exactly where you want the hinge to be. Now this is different from a lot of tape hinges. You, you're not going to make a bevel and that's what part of what makes this easier and makes it work better. You can get a little better results when you don't have to carefully take your knife and make that stupid bevel. Um, so all you do is just cut and the slow stick is kind of pre-cut for you so just taking my knife and, and cutting the like coating on the foam here. so there you can see the edge it's square both edges are square Right. All you really need to do this is a pair of good scissors that can cut straight and some packing tape. And I like to use this Scotch heavy duty packing tape. I've used it a lot. Um, I've used this stuff a lot and it works really good and it stays flexible for years. So what I'm going to do first is just cut a piece of tape that's the width I want it to be. And I'm always going to cut across this way. So there we go. And then I'm going to cut that exactly in half. Alright, then all you have to do is take the two pieces and stick them together. Uh, facing each other and overlap them just about the width of the foam that you're using. Just overlapped a little bit like that and then take one of your surfaces and line that up so that the overlapped area goes over the center line like that. Okay, and then just fold the tape, you know, stick the tape to, to that surface. Try to make it look nice. Um, then all you have to do is put the two surfaces together. So fold this over and you can kind of crease it a little bit if you want, but fold it over and don't stick it to the back of the other piece. But line up the two pieces so that they're like that. And then just fold the other piece of tape over onto this piece, creasing it at the edge as best you can. And in this case, I got a little bit of over the edge, so just cut that off with your knife. Alright, so you can see the tape is kind of, it's, it's in between there like that. Now, the next thing we do is just do the same thing again, but we do it in the other direction. So, get another piece of tape, approximately the same width as that one, you know, and it doesn't have to be exact, but, you know, you can just eyeball it like that.
cut it in half, stick it together. Alright, now this gets more and more tricky as you go down the rope. So on a bigger surface like this elevator, you're going to want to start towards the center and go out and then go out onto the other side. But on the rudder, I'm just going to do it um, one end to the other. So on this one, we stuck the tape onto this side. So on the next one down, we want to stick the tape on to the other side. Um, so stick this right up against the first piece. Line up the part that is overlapped. Hold it over here. Now, be careful when you put this next part together that you hold the surface straight because if you get this crooked it's a real pain <laughs> so you can put it down on the table like this pull the tape up lay it over that way that should be tight and you can see how the hinge is starting to be formed. Alright. Do that again and again, alternating until you get down to the bottom. And you can go right over this part where you have the control horn. So, i um, just going to go right over that part and then when I'll, I'll stick the control horn through the tape. I'll just cut the tape and stick it through. So I finished it up here and you can see I did it all the way down to the edge and then I put a little bit of tape around that part there um, and then I probably will also put tape over these bits here uh, just to make it a little stronger but yeah it's done and you can see this is very floppy there's no break in time on this it's right, right away it's nice and free um, it's strong so, yeah, this should last a good many years. If you build your slow stick this way, it should be really good for a long time. So, that's how to build the tape weave hinge. Um, as you can see, it's really nice. Uh, it's done. This is very flexible. Um, it has almost no resistance at all. Um, it's, it's durable, it's strong, and it's very easy to make because you don't have to worry about beveling the foam and all that kind of dumb crap like that. Um, just cut the foam perfectly straight and you're ready to go. Um, there's no gap here either and that's really nice because you're not going to get airflow through there and that can cause a surface to kind of wiggle sometimes in flight and that's kind of annoying. Um, Probably going to finish this off by putting a little tape down over this just to reinforce that. Um, yeah, this is this is a really good way to do your slow stick hinges. I hope people will start doing this because, wow, it's really just works really well. A um, couple things to watch out for. Um, make sure that you make your tape wide enough that the joint where they come together is going to stay. Um, make sure you wash your hands good with dish soap or something uh, so you don't goober up the tape before you stick it on. Um, you could put tape on the surface first and then use that to grip onto. That also works. That's what I did on the other plane. Um, and then this would this technique would probably work really well also on a wood plane with monocoat but it just it doesn't look very good so I don't know if you're trying to maybe find a more durable hinge for your wood plane you know with its wood and covering you could try this if you don't mind the weird way that it looks now you could make this hinge out of covering but 
covering tends to get kind of brittle over the years and I've had I've got a plane that's had this packing tape on it for seven years and it's it's fine so you know hope you have a um, good luck with this technique um, and let me know in the comments if you use this on any of your planes thanks a lot for watching